In Saida, Lebanon, 1953, people celebrated the Mawlid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Very natural, a great event. In several parts of the Islamic world, during big feasts, such as marriages, arrival from Hajj, or birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they fire firearms. It's wrong, and people shouldn't use firearms on such occasions. Not at all. Such instruments are deadly and could by any mistake kill someone. You want to show your love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, show it in ways that are allowed, ways that do not incur any harm or cause any damage, not to yourself, not to the people around you. However, people used firearms, they shot guns, and by mistake, a young Christian girl was shot, and she received a bullet in her spine. She was taken to hospital and moved later to AU Hospital, American University Hospital in Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. Obviously, a shot in the spine would cause huge damage, often irreversible. However, this case was different. The girl was in intensive care unit. Doctors came from various specialties and they reached the conclusion that the girl is going to die. There were no hopes in the girl's survival. They put limits of few hours. They called the mother and asked her to get in and give farewell words to her daughter. The mother from a family called Ghattas, that was the name of the family, got in a mood that is angry, but at the same time, challenging. Oh Muhammad, you are a prophet. People were celebrating your birth and they caused this damage to my daughter. Do you allow this? If you are a prophet, show me a miracle. Come to help and save my daughter. A non-believer, remember, who was saying these words was not a lover of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not someone who knows his maqam, not someone who is passionate about remembering him and recalling his name and making prayers upon him, not someone who spent his life in praise in love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, obedience to him in following his sunnah. That was a non-believer, a non-Muslim, a Christian. But with real state of necessity, state of needs, 
She got in the room to say farewell words to her daughter. She was surprised her daughter was sitting on the bed and shouting, Mom, don't come in, don't interrupt. Muhammad is leaving, don't let him leave. What's happening? She said, Muhammad وسلم, came in the room and wiped over me. And as you see, I'm fit, nothing wrong with me. She was crying, the whole family took shahada, embraced Islam. Me.